protects. I gotta show you this. Kinda looks like this. <laughs> Can you read that? I fucked it up because I made the letters like really big. And then I was like, fuck, I'm not gonna have enough room. And then I made them smaller. And then I made them bigger again. <laughs> but I decided to, to capitalize this last line because I think it's really, really important. So I, I kind of want to talk about that. Um, you know, we have a cat. And we have a cat because... We're mentally ill, and that's something that crazy women do. We get cats, and uh, people make fun of us and say really, like, stereotypical things. I think that they're just mad because we're not lonely. I really don't get lonely. It's like once in a blue moon I get lonely, but most of the time... It's like a party. I'm having a party all the time, you know? But but that's what I want to talk about in relation to that. He that is able to receive... He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. Okay? So, when I got this poster, uh, you know, the, the rainbow... I think I got this before Pride Month. Um, but, yeah, I was just thinking, like, man, I need a Bible verse about eunuchs. <laughs> and so this is from Matthew 19, verse 12. Um, if you, if you want to see it, I can show it to you. Okay. We've been reading Isaiah again. Now's a good time to read Isaiah. <laughs> um, there it is. Okay. So this is this is the passage. Um it's highlighted because this is when Jesus talks. Okay. This is the King James. But, yeah, so. The reason I see myself this way, because, you know, when I read this passage for the first time, I got really emotional, but it just made sense out of my life. Um... So, you'd think that a eunuch would be an actual dude without a penis because, you know, he was castrated, perhaps. So this, I think that, that all of this describes, like, the kind of society that we're living in right now, okay? So, if, if there are dudes that feel, like, emasculated, um, or maybe, like, transgender people, gay people, okay, um... I think that it's possible that we have this sort of experience from the fucking jump, okay? And it's really because of all of the stuff that's in our products that, that mommy is consuming or mommy is just around those products and that affects her hormones the, and the hormones of her unborn child, okay? So there is that possibility. But then... You know, there are some eunuchs. Jesus is explaining this, okay? Jesus is explaining this to his disciples. There are some eunuchs which were made... They were made eunuchs of men, okay? So, something happened to them to, to take away their dick, okay? Rob them. So, this could either be their hormones... Um, this could be society, um, this could be the education system, so many different things, alright? So, both of these things are not a choice, alright? 
You don't choose the world you live in. You definitely don't choose the shit that your mother consumes. I mean, I wish that we could choose that, but we can't. All right. <laughs> and this last one, and there be eunuchs which have made themselves made. Okay, they've made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. It would help if I could actually point the 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 word that I'm speaking, but whatever. Um. I'm glad that you approve of this. Um, yeah, so there are people that choose to be celibate. There are people that choose to not be part of this world because they would rather live here. Okay? And if you can't do that, if you're too sexual of a person um, or you're, you know, codependent... And I don't mean that in a derogatory way because there are plenty of people that, you know, they're just better in a relationship. And that's really what we're supposed to do. You know, we're, we're like literally supposed to make babies. We're supposed to get married and make babies. Um, I mean, we kind of have to like continue our fucking species. You know, that's the whole point of that. So it's not really about love as much as it is about preservation. Um... But, you know, since society seems to have neither of those things, um, that's why you don't really see anywhere near as many people enthusiastic about things that require a lot of, you know, patience and sacrifice and, you know, it's self-sacrifice. You know, you're, you're, you know, if you have a kid, you got to live for that kid. Um, that's why I could never do it. Like I, I look at people that do that and it's like, holy shit. Like, that's amazing that you're able to do that. Like, I just, I mean, I was, I was watching, um, these, uh, moms go to like the, the baby changing station. Cause I'm in the choir at my church. And I was watching them. So I was singing and I was watching them like go change their baby's diapers. And I was like, holy shit, like, <laughs> that's a holy shit right there, right? Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, but, but really though, I was, I'm in awe. I'm so in awe of like women that know how to be women. Like they're just like wired. They're literally wired to do that. Well, I've just never really felt that way. I've never really had that. I just get nervous, you know, when I'm like holding a baby, I'm worried I'm going to drop it. Like I was watching these kids like afterwards, like during coffee hour. And I was just like nervous that one of them was going to do something. And I, I'm not really authoritative at all. And if kids ever complain about their parents, I totally fucking understand, you know, I really do. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, it's just, I don't have that responsibility. Like you really have to be, um, I don't know. Like, well, you, I think that you kind of have to know what's good for yourself. I mean, I know what, what I'm good at and what I suck at and I just can't like picture myself taking care of something if, if I have such a hard time taking care of myself. You know what I mean? And I, I wish that a lot of people would have that mindset before they have sex with somebody, but they really don't. And I mean, I don't know. Like if I was with a dude that I was really into and, and I could see myself having a, a family with him, then like, yeah, that would be awesome. But like, I don't feel that way. Like I, like I said, it's really hard for me to be with a man. So, I don't know. It's, it's a me problem. It's definitely a me problem. But luckily, I'm able to receive it. This is let him receive it. And I think that... Whatever happened to me... You know, maybe this is like some sort of cope. But I would definitely be coping if I was with somebody. Like, it would be so much worse.